What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to work with WP, WPF Windows Presentation Foundation and we're going to see how to populate a combo box from our WPF, actually our WPF combo box from an array and then get the selected items and show um, in a message box, okay? So this is what we're going to be looking at right here. This is an introductory WPF Windows Presentation Foundation tutorial. So let's get started. So first and foremost, we actually need to create our project. So go to File, New, then come right here, the C Sharp, and then choose the WPF application. Then click OK. You can assign it a custom name. So having created the project, we're going to use the designer right here. And in fact, all you have to do is to drag a combo box and bring it right here okay now from your toolbox search for a combo box here it is just drag it and bring it right here of course in our window now for me of course if i come right here let's just explore the source code now if we come to this is the XAML right here okay XAML is an extension to XML. It allows us to create our user interfaces declaratively uh, for our user interfaces for, of course, the WPF. We can create them declaratively. Now you can see we have the window at the root right here, and then you're supplying the title of our application or of our form, the height and width. We supply them. Then we have this particular grid layout. So inside the grid, we're placing in a combo box right here and then we'll have a text okay this one a label just on top of our combo box so we have it right here so basically a combo box and a label those are all we need then we move over to our main window dot cs so if you come to main window dot xaml dot cs then as you can see the first thing we're going to have our namespace then we have our input using directives then we're going to have a public partial class main window and this class is going to be deriving from the system the windows system the windows as you can see right here okay now these are partial class now that means that of course we have going to as the name suggests is a partial in fact it's also going to have its counterpart its counterpart de uh, defined right here okay app dot xaml dot cs so in C Sharp, of course, these partial classes, the compiler is going to uh, join them. So, like, is they're going to treat them the same. So, we have right there the public partial class app, okay, which is deriving from the application. And then we have, sorry, it's not the app, it's actually the main window right here. You can see we have this main window right here, okay, you can see they have the same name the this main window right here this of course is also a partial class it's part of the main window.xaml.cs okay so the components our components will get initialized inside this other partial class right here and you can see we have it right there and now for us we don't really need to do to work with this one special meaning that uh, it's actually part of this particular main window.xaml.cs okay now the editor that you're using the designer is going to generate code and place them right here so we don't have to edit these other um these are auto generated code we don't have to edit them on the other hand if we come to the main window.saml.cs this is where we're going to write our custom code okay so we just come right here we don't now have to reinitialize the components they've been initialized and placed in a partial class which is also another part of this particular main window right here. Now, normally these partial classes, they are normally must have the same name as you can see main window right here. And then they must also have the partial specifier specified. So in this case, we're going to maintain a string array called spiritual teachers. And then we're going to supply those spiritual teachers. Now, this app is going to show for us spiritual teachers in the combo box. So we come, we supply them right there, and then we're going to have a boolean windows shown first time. We're going to set it to true. So
also will come and create a method called populate the WPF combo box. So inside this method, the first thing that we will do is that we're going to set the item source property of our combo box. So my combo box, the item source equal to spiritual teachers, which is basically this particular array, string array. And then we're going to set the selected item to item number zero, okay, or to item index zero. Now, then we come, we're going to listen to the combo box selection change events right here. Now, if we come to our example file and we come to the combo box, you're going to see that we have the selection index change event. We are registering it right here. This is a, we're registering the event handler. Now, this is that event handler. Okay. So, inside right here, first we'll check if Windows shown first time then we're going to set windows shown first time to false and then return from execution otherwise we'll come and show a message box containing the selected item from our combo box we'll return it and show it in a message box then we come of course in our main window constructor first we invoke the initialize component now initialize component is defined in the other main window partial class okay we saw it that is generated by the designer then we come also invoke the populate wpf combo box so that's all we need to do then we just come click start to run our application and of course as you can see if we run the app right here we have our spiritual teachers shown right here so we select an item then we are able to show it of course in a message box okay so that is it now it shows for us in the message box if we click ok then you can see it right here so that's it guys like this video share the video and stay tuned for more wpf tutorials